Hello and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom skin in Minecraft. Now, you'll notice that I'm not actually in the game, but I'm rather at Minecraft.net, which is the game's homepage. Um, I'm currently logged in to my account, and you're going to want to do the same in order to follow these instructions. So, in order to create a skin with you need to know exactly what a skin is. Basically, the character you see over to the right of the screen is one of the default character models. If you log into the game, you'll either be playing as Steve or Alex. These are two different types of characters, um, this one being Steve, and you'll and if you ha don't have a skin selected, you'll basically be one of these. Um, but fortunately, Minecraft lets you customize everything, including how you look. And you can change how you look right down to the pixel, which means becoming pretty much anyone you like. You can have a weird abstract face. You can have a cool red vest or something. Pretty much anything you want. So. The first thing you want to do is go to the Profile tab. Um, and if you're logged into your account, it should look like this. So you'll see that there are two player models, Steve and Alex. This is what Steve would look like as a sort of skin template. Basically, this template is what the character in Minecraft looks like when he's all unfolded and rolled out. This puts his three-dimensional texture onto a two-dimensional plane and kind of lets you um, draw and build your own thing. Similarly, Alex has um, a very similar type of skin template. So you can use either one you like. So depending on which template you want to use, download the one you want. If you want to know exactly how the templates are different, they actually aren't all that different. It's just that um, Alex has slightly thinner arms. So let's go with Alex. So once you download this template, it should appear somewhat like this. And all you have to do is copy the image and paste it into a painting program. Now, I'm using Microsoft Paint, which comes with a lot of computers. But unfortunately, you'll notice that all these areas, which used to contain nothing, are now black. Um, that's because Microsoft Paint is not able to handle transparency. So no matter what, if you build your skin in something like Microsoft Paint, every single part of your character will be filled by some, um, some color or another, which can be not what you want if, say, you only want, um, you want, say, a sleeveless shirt or you don't want your head to be obscured with a weird helmet. So there's plenty of other programs which do handle transparency well. Um, you can find programs, download them online. Um, for example, Paint.net, although with that one, Unfortunately, paints.net is the title of the program and not the website where you can find it. You can actually find that one at getpaint.net. So Microsoft Paint does work if you want to create a skin, but it will not be nearly as versatile as other programs. So definitely use with caution. So basically, this is your template. Um, You'll notice that some of these uh, squares and rectangles are filled in solid, like this one and this one, whereas others are kind of checkerboarded, like this one and this one. Um, that's because 
your character actually kind of has two skins. The solidly colored ones are your inner skin, your undershirt, your head, your arms, your legs, whereas the checkerboarded ones represent your outer skin. Now these can actually be transparent because it's like your um, overshirt, your leggings, your helmet, um, pretty much anything you want. Some people leave all of these transparent, some people build elaborate armors for themselves. They don't actually affect how well you perform in the game, so you can build whatever sort of crazy thing you'd like to see. So, editing this thing is actually very easy. All you have to do is draw on it. Um, because the way it works is once you finish working on a skin, you can just save it as a file, upload it to Minecraft.net, and it'll make that your official skin. So, sorry I want to start by giving my character blue eyes. I can just draw them on, and that's it. It looks a little bit creepy right now, so you can add white irises, um, or not irises, <laughs> um, maybe if you want to be more of a fantasy character, you can try becoming an orc of some sort, or a watermelon-headed person. Basically, anything you can draw is something that you can um, become in the game. So, there's just a few things you need to know when working on a skin. First of all, you'll notice that a lot of these skins, um, a lot of the sections of this skin are sort of divided into um, this sort of shape. So, you have four squares or rectangles in a row, and then two above it. Um, this is basically just what one of your character's limbs looks like unfolded. It's the torso, an arm, a leg, or anything. Um, and basically how you read this is this is always the front-facing part. That's um, what you're going to see when someone's facing you. So, for example, your face is on the front part of your head. This is what is on the left side of your limb, whereas this is what's on the right side. This is what's going to be on the back, so it could be the back of your head, the back of your arm, or just your back, whatever. Um, this is the top, so what people see when looking from above. And lastly, this is the bottom. So, when if you want to design a skin all on your own, you will need to take notes of these things. Um, but if you're downloading a skin from the internet, which you can always do, there's if you just um, Google search for various Minecraft skins, you can find huge databases and collections of them which people have created, then you won't really need to know any of this. But it is always nice to at least have to know how to create a skin of your very own. Lastly, um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of which part of the body is what. So, as you can probably see, this is your head. This is your hat, so it's whatever's going to be going around your head. You can make it nothing, you can make it a helmet, you can make it some extra spiky hair. This is your right leg. And this is whatever goes over your right leg. Down here is your left leg, actually. And this is what goes over your left leg.
Similarly, this is for your right arm. This is your right sleeve. This is your left arm. And this is your left sleeve. So basically, the legs go on the left of your body, and the arms go on the right of your body. So it's a little bit counterintuitive, but um, it's at least fairly organized, so you can figure it out. And then the last thing is, <clears throat> this is your torso, and this is going to be whatever clothes, jacket, armor you want to go around your torso. If you don't want to include any of that, you can just draw your shirt or whatever you want on this part of your torso and not bother with any fancy 3D stuff. So let's say that you finish your skin. This is nowhere near finished, but you can see what um, I mean. What you do is you save it as a file on your computer. Once it's saved, you go back to Minecraft.net, select which type of skin you used. Remember, we used Alex. And now click Browse to go find it in your pictures library. And so basically you can use any file on your computer as long as it's the right size to create a skin. So you can download a picture from the internet, you can make one of your own, and once you're ready you can click upload or click reset to restore your default skin. And so that's about all the basics you need to know. Thanks for watching.